everyone, this is Richard Byrne at Free Technology for Teachers. And today I want to show you three handy browser extensions or browser add-ons that I think every teacher can benefit from using. The first one that I want to show you is called a cleaner internet. The cleaner internet used to be called a cleaner YouTube uh, due to some branding they had to rename their service, but it still works the same way. What a cleaner internet does is it allows you to browse YouTube and watch YouTube videos without seeing any of the related videos, any of the advertising or the comments that typically appear next to a YouTube video. So this is what it looks like. When I type in YouTube in my browser bar, I still type in the same URL. But you can see now I don't have anything other than the search box. So I'm going to search for Did You Know? And in my results page, all I will see are the video results. I won't see any of the sidebar content that typically will appear. And now when I go to watch this video, you can see I only see the video. I don't see any of the advertising, I don't see any of the comments below. If I want to turn that on, I can by clicking on it, but I can also turn it off just as easily so that when I display this video to my class, all they see is the video and I don't have to worry about anything questionable popping up in the sidebar. The next browser extension that I'd like to show you is Bitly, which you can find at bitly.com. Bitly is a URL shortener. There are a lot of URL shorteners on the market. Uh, if you don't like Bitly, tiny URL is another popular one. Uh, they all do the same thing. Uh, but if you have it installed in your browser, anytime you're looking at an article such as this one, we have a very long URL. If I were to write out that URL and put it on the whiteboard in my classroom, uh, it's going to take a while before I have every student copying it down correctly and putting it into their, their own browser correctly. So it's much easier for me to simply click on Bitly, which I have installed in my browser, and it will shorten, a, shorten up the URL for me, and I can simply give out that URL to my students rather than this long URL. It's a great time saver. Another aspect of Bitly that you can explore is if you are a a bitly, registered Bitly user, I can take this URL here, copy it, and I can customize it to something that might be a little bit easier for my students to recognize. Maybe I'll cut it down and I'll put in my name. And I'll customize it. And so now my students will just type in bbc.in forward slash Mr. Byrne. Might be a little bit easier than that random collection of numbers and letters that Bitly assigned originally. And the final browser extension that I think every teacher can benefit from using is Evernote. Evernote is a online bookmarking service. Uh, it does more than just bookmarking, but I use it for bookmarking. Uh, it's similar to Digo or Delicious or many other services like it. Uh, what I like about Evernote, let's say I'm reading this article again about Obama tightening U.S. sanctions on Iran. I can clip this to Evernote, and I can clip the whole page or just part of the part of the page if I want to. Uh, I can add some tags to it. Maybe I'm going to use this in my World Studies class. Maybe I'll write a comment. For example, have students comment on this, and now I'm going to clip the article. It's a very handy way to keep all my bookmarks organized. And again, if I just want to clip part of the page, I can do that as well. So those are three browser book, browser extensions and browser add-ons I think every teacher can benefit from using.